Hi. Off-grid ice cream again. I am working on chocolate cheesecake. And this is the second stir. This one has absolutely no sugar. It's going to have the graham cracker crumbs, the organic graham cracker crumbs. And so it's going to have some sugar there. But it's completely stevia sweetened other than that. I used some egg and milk and kind of made a little custard with the chocolate. Um, so that way the chocolate won't be grainy because powdered chocolate, you know, can end up being grainy and I want it to be like a smooth, creamy ice cream and not be like gross and crumbly. So I'm just stirring this like real, real good and it's going to go back in. It was really kind of a thin mixture. So I'm doing that and it's going to go back in for another 45 minutes. I need to do this. This is the fork to break it up in the beginning. And back into the fridge for another 45 minutes. Okay, 45 minutes later, it's time to mix again. I'll start with the spoon, get this away from the edge. It kind of like hardens up at the edge first and then you mix it and get it creamy again and freeze it again. And I like to take the fork, kind of break up the chunks a little bit. Okay, and it's going to be another 45 minutes. Okay, it's time to mix again. I waited a little bit too long, like about 10 minutes too long, but you know, it's working. It's becoming ice cream. And all you really need for this is uh, like a freezer that gets cold. You don't need a machine, you don't need an outlet, just a freezer that gets cold. And it doesn't take up much room. What I'm going to do now is, now that it's a little bit harder, I'm going to add some cheesecake crust. This is just organic ground graham cracker. I think that'll be enough because I don't want a lot of sugar or starch in it or anything like that. So I'm just going to add that in to give it a little bit of a chocolate cheesecake flair. Okay, and back to the freezer. Hi. Okay, we're back again. And it looks like we have ice cream. So I'm going to like stir it up one more time to make it a little bit creamier. This is like a couple servings of ice cream. I'm going to have to see if it's frozen harder. I'm going to have to like get the fork in here. Kind of work it with the fork a little bit.
See now it's starting to get a little smoother again. It might not have even needed to be stirred this time, but hey, you know, it makes it a little bit creamier. So I'm gonna get everything back into place here. Then what I'm going to do is kind of organize it, pack it down a little flat. Since I'm not eating it right now. One thing about all homemade ice cream is it tends to crystallize a lot easier. So I'm going to take some saran wrap. Block out the air. Kind of like a seal. Because when air gets to it, then it crystallizes. If air can't get to it, it's a lot harder to crystallize. From there, I'll put it in the freezer and it'll be ready to eat. Thank you for watching. If you like, subscribe, comment. And have a great evening.